you started on YouTube singing and posting videos. Tell me about your journey from posting videos on YouTube to where it is now. I was like 13. I've been on YouTube for 10 years, so yeah. A lot has changed. My sound has changed. The music that I used to release and that was on Radio Disney was very, very pop, which was perfect for that time, and I really enjoy that music, but it started evolving and becoming more mature, and now I'm just really happy with how the original music is sounding, and also the covers that I'm releasing on YouTube uh, resemble more of like what my sound is and who I am as an artist. YouTube's been around for a while, but that was kind of towards the beginning time of YouTube. Oh, yeah. What made you decide to go ahead and do that? My parents wanted me to start a YouTube channel. It was wow. kind of their idea. I sat them down like a few, like a year before, telling them that I wanted to do music. They took me to a talent competition out here and I did really well and so they were like okay we think that you can do this nothing was happening obviously because we didn't have the connections or anything and so they thought YouTube would be a good way to like show my face and uh, my voice to industry people it ended up being completely different that I started gaining like supporters and followers and um, they were creating fan sites for me like a month in and we were like what is going on? This is so cool. But I was so nervous and against it because I did not want my friends to know I sang. I was really involved in my like dance groups and dance academies and teams and so I really didn't want music to be on the table or like for them to know about it. It slowly started coming out and like people at school would come up to me and say, so um, we saw you on YouTube. <laughs> and like people still didn't really know about YouTube. Yeah. Like me and Justin Bieber and Esme Denters were like the only people doing music on YouTube at the time. But YouTube's completely different now. Like it's in a way different space. Music's not really a main thing on YouTube now. It's all about these vloggers and it's different, but it's still a great platform for me. Now that you've done YouTube, now you're moving into like your original music. Mm -hmm. Where are you going from here? I want my original music to be like the main thing. People are so supportive of my covers and so I want to get them on board with the original music and coins, the current single and then a few singles in the past. Um, people have been really supportive and excited that I am like writing my own music and releasing it so I just hope that it keeps going in the right direction and I will release uh, like two more singles at the end of the year. I want to be touring a lot. I got a residency in LA and so I'm going to be performing with my band and yeah just more shows and hopefully just getting into people's homes. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just homes and hearts. <laughs> homes and hearts, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me about your new single Coins. What inspired it? What's the story? How did you write it? Yeah, um, so I wrote Coins last year and it's all about embracing your flaws and being who you are and totally accepting that. This industry is like really intense and a lot of people tell you who to be and what to do and what they think their version of perfect is and how they think that you should act and sing and, and everything. So this was kind of my response to all of those people um, telling them I don't really care, I'm gonna do what I wanna do, and what I feel is right. If you could collaborate with any artist, mm -hmm. who do you think you'd wanna collaborate with? With Steven Tyler, I love Aerosmith. I love John Bellion. La, 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 it's really good. <laughs> Justin Timberlake, but he also is so stunningly gorgeous that I might faint, so I don't know if I could <laughs> handle that. Christina Aguilera, she's one of my favorites and she has such a huge voice and it's incredible. You seem so like cool, calm and collected when you're singing wow. and just like, oh, I've got this. <laughs> Do you get nervous performing stuff? Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad that it shows because I'm not inside. I do get nervous, but I try and keep my mind off of everything like before I perform. I just want my band and I to like talk and goof off and like I don't want the performance to be on my mind. I want to be like very sidetracked and like not focus on that I'll be on stage in a few minutes and people will be watching and yeah. all eyes on us. So <laughs> I try to not focus on that. If someone hasn't heard your music before, can you describe it in three words? Fun, edgy, but classic. How would you describe your routine? What are some of your favorite products? What's your style inspiration? Well, my style inspiration is black. I <laughs> don't really I noticed that on your Instagram. Wear, yeah. I don't really wear color. I do wear white and occasionally the ivory and beige. Is that something that you just like how it looks on you yeah, or you just, just decided I, I this is my brand? Out. Well, it's just kind of turned into that, I guess, that I like wear black, but no, I, I've always loved black. Like I love a very simple like black dress with funky shoes or like, you know, twisting it. For makeup, I use so many different brands. Like everything on my face is a different brand. <laughs> I love Too Faced, I love Tarte. I love IT Cosmetics. What are some things you like to do besides music? I love cooking. 
I love bacon. What's your best recipe? Well, I didn't say I was a good cook. <laughs> I just like being in the kitchen. It like takes my mind off of everything and I don't think about anything. Like literally it's just put some in-sync on and cook <laughs> and I'm good. Ain't no life, bye, 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 bye. Yeah. Let's say we have a karaoke party we have to go to. Okay. What are your tips for conquering karaoke even if we don't feel confident singing? I love karaoke, but I never do it seriously. Like I never will ever sing for reals. So karaoke. we have to take it like it's fun, so, not serious. Yeah. I'm gonna say choose a song that you already know the words to because you still wanna kind of like interact with the crowd. You don't want to just be staring at the words. And also, like, if you don't even know the song and you're trying to figure out the words, people are going to be like, that's not how it goes. Yeah. So choose a song that you already know so you can just have fun with it. My karaoke song, though, is Roses by Outkast. Can you show us an example, like, a line that would be seriously singing it and karaoke version singing it? I guess, like, when I sing, I'm like, I know you like the thing. Yeah, like, I do it like that. <laughs> I love like, real singing. <laughs> I know you like the thing. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. we definitely should take your advice and just okay. have fun with it. Just have fun. Yeah.